during ischemic stroke, when a blood vessel is blocked, the tissue downstream of the blockage actually is affected, causing uh, injury and death to just a portion of the brain. Leslie Ritter, professor at the Arizona Health Sciences Center and coordinator for the Stroke Center at University Medical Center, wants to find better outcomes for stroke patients. She may have an answer in the spice we know as turmeric. A stroke is the result of reduced or absence of blood to a portion of the brain. Uh, the majority of strokes are called ischemic strokes and that happens when a blood vessel is blocked or plugged. And the treatment of choice is to open, to open the vessel with either uh, a drug, a clot busting drug, um, or some mechanical intervention. When a vessel is opened after a stroke, blood sweeps back into the brain, bringing with it white blood cells or leukocytes that adhere to the vessel walls. This results in acute inflammation or collateral damage to the vessels and brain tissue. So we look in our laboratory for ways to reduce this inflammation so that when we do give blood back to the brain, it's really as good as it can be. This is a blood vessel in the brain when blood is returned to the brain after a stroke. The white dots are the um, white blood cells or leukocytes, the inflammatory cells. And after a stroke, the inflammatory cells adhere to a significant degree um, as opposed to normally. When they adhere, they have the potential to cause damage in the brain vessels and to the surrounding brain tissue. There are no drugs to protect the brain from this increased inflammation. With research funding from the state of Arizona, Dr. Ritter and UA College of Medicine endocrinologist Janet Funk have teamed up to see if a botanical turmeric will target the white blood cells. Turmeric is a spice traditionally used a lot in Indian cooking. Um, but it's also used traditionally in Indian medical systems and it's used specifically for inflammatory things. In our arthritis research we found out that turmeric prevented arthritis so the question is what was it doing? But one very important target that it uh, went after was a, a really early part of the whole cascade that leads to inflammation and turmeric attacks something early on. Turmeric may help in the treatment phase of stroke but the studies that Dr. Ritter and Dr. Funk are doing may prove that it has even more positive benefits. Turmeric, we think, may not only have uh, beneficial effects during the acute phase of stroke in this, to reduce inflammation, but we think that turmeric may be effective in preventing stroke, and we would like to translate our research into that kind of um, clinical study in the future. If more research and clinical trials prove that turmeric is effective in treating inflammation, it will have added implications for people with chronic inflammation, such as those with diabetes. The, the folks that have um, diabetes, we think, tend to have worse stroke and worse um, outcomes um, and rehabilitation from stroke because of this chronic inflammation and then the worsening inflammation when the stroke occurs.